Welcome back guys. In this episode we target Black Marlin at Spot X of the Gold Coast. to spot X here. We've had a bit of a troll around trying to find the bait. We found a nice little spot that's holding really good bait at the moment and it also had a really good arch on it at about 40 metres. So Dennis and I have got our liveys out at the moment at about 40 metres and we'll see what happens from there. Kush. Do that drag up. just saw in the background they just landed a fish and then we were just drifting past with our baits mine's on the surface and um yeah my uh my slimy was actually dead but we haven't been able to jig up any more ivy so there he is oh. contact nice size good size See, I had a dead slimy out, but we saw arches at 20 meters. So I brought my slimy up and a very light drag, so I let him take it. And now I'm hooked, finally. Woohoo! Woo! <laughs> awesome! I've only got 50 pound braid on. My leader is 80 pound. So we'll see what happens. It's only been a couple of minutes so far, but I think he's got a lot of fight left in him. It's gone deep. Yep. It's finally gone deep. Now I do have a circle hook on, so hopefully this time it's actually got him in the corner of the mouth. When I was fishing the other week with my brother, we had circle hooks on then too. But unfortunately the fish swallowed the hook so we had to cut it off. But that's how it goes, you know. Oh, that hurts already. <laughs> He's just hanging down there now. <laughs> Come on, dude. It's done up pretty tight. Good old Brooke tightening up the drag. <laughs> Just got to pump and wind, get him to turn his head. Pump and wind! Did you just do it up even more? I let it off a little while oh. ago. I just did those two clicks back that I let off. This was hurting my back. He's coming up near the surface now, so he's probably going to jump again. I'm really annoyed that the video doesn't do the fish justice. It really is That's much perfect. bigger than it looks in these clips. In size. I'm not going to be able to lift that. I might have to get in the water with it. <laughs> I might have to get in front of it. Because he's not going to tire out like this. Mm. So I 
you're new to my channel guys and you like the content that I'm producing, please hit that little like button. Hit the subscribe button as well if you want to see more of it. And also tick that little bell notification. So every time I upload a new video, you will get a notification. Anyway, back to the marlin. No. I'm gonna go up current because that's what the boys were doing. They were. They were just around. He's gonna jump. He's gonna jump. He's gonna jump. If you hadn't noticed, we are very inexperienced at catching marlin, An so getting the jump. fish close enough to the boat to grab it was very difficult, and the fight was extremely long and drawn out. Did I mention that I was becoming very exhausted and my back was in so much pain? Now I know why people use gimbals and harnesses for catching these massive fish. Oh, this is insane! Nice game chair. It may look like I'm crying, but it's not. It's wet. <laughs> I kind of wasn't expecting this fight to go for this long. We had him pretty close to the boat at one stage, but he just obviously wasn't close enough to grab, so. Getting footage of the bill grab is going to be very difficult because there's only two of us on board. So I doubt very much that that's going to happen. So it's going to be a bit where you guys aren't going to see if we get this fish in. Man, this fish is giving me some curry. Oh man, this is the hardest fight I've ever had. Oh my god. I don't want to thumb the line too much, but I got to. He's just getting way too much line. It's coming to the surface. It's gonna do another jump. Huh, if you can. Oh, he's out there. He's about 60 meters that way. Come on, buddy. We just wanna get you in and let you go. All right, so you didn't get to see the fish because we obviously popped the leader. Here it is here. Very, very chafed up. We basically got it to the side of the boat very reluctantly and it was really hard because it's actually quite windy now so the boat kept going over the front of the, the fish. It's too hard to try and get it to the other side. We we're just trying to get it in. Anyway, got it to the side and it was still having some pretty big jumps, pretty aggressive jumps and it's basically jumped at the boat and then gone under and then it's just popped the line off. So Dennis is very, very, very upset. We had it next to the boat and I'm basically calling that as a, as a catch, but you guys didn't get to see it. I'm pretty annoyed about that. That fish had so much go in it, it was insane. Like I'm sweating like crazy. My arms are dead. My back is screwed. I'm gonna be so, so buggered over the next couple of days. Awesome fight. Haven't had a fight like that in my life. But I'm telling you, that was bigger than what everyone else has been catching, the little blacks. It's definitely a medium size to big one. <laughs> I think that's going to be us for today. It's well and truly past high tide, so I'm, I think that the bite's going to be off. If I hooked up to a fish now, there's no way I'd be able to fight it for another hour. So that's me tuning out, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm sorry that you didn't get to see the end product, but that's fishing, isn't it? So you'll have to join me next time to see what I catch then. All right, I'll see you guys later.
off and do a jump. 